presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Uh, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinions according to their belief systems. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's a, that's a tricky card, man. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 168, NASDAQ up 236, S&P's up 50, gold. Gold contract up $20.20, trading at 1946 an ounce. We have silver up 94 cents, 24 dollars 71 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 83 cents, 78 dollars 82 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds: a 10-year note up 27 ticks, trading 109.29. The 30-year up a full point, plus 29 ticks at 120.08. And King Dollar, King Dollar gave it up, folks. King Dollar down 164 ticks, 103. 399. Now, that doesn't seem a lot, 167 ticks, and it's not, but I'll show you why it actually, I'm saying it's giving it up. The euro is at 108, the yen is at 144, and the British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We'll bring up the futures contract first. My take, we're going to run right into the close, by the way, folks, okay? Bottom line, what you have out here, you know, is you, you climbed up, you know, we bottom line just had another pop up right here. You pulled first pullback was, you know, about uh, an hour ago. We, you know, we just came in again with volume. This thing's going to go up. It's, it's, hey, listen, this thing wants to bounce. That's the real bottom line. If I bring the spy up, what you're going to see in the, inside the spy is that you are going up and you're contracting on volume. That being said, uh, you know, this baby. Right now, you're at 4.43, you're up 4.8, and, you know, you got 4.46 to, like, 4.46 is the low of a high-volume bar. So if we get some juice, it'll probably try to get into that, or it gets into the lows of the high, which is uh, 4.51. That's how this is set up. Now, if that's what we do, what, you know, what would end up happening is this. You can't do an ABC down. Well, you can do it. But the definition of an ABC down is you don't do more than a 0.618 retracement. So if we do more than a 0.618 retracement, then what we're going to have is that you're going to have a consolidation with the highs of this uh, SPY being at that 470 and the lows being out here at that 433. Now, that's a, that's a trading environment and a half, man. I mean, big time. That's inside the SPY. We go to the notes and bonds. Now, this is, we got... A lot of movement here, man. And I think we've, we're seeing a lot of turns. And my take is that the note and bond market have also bottomed. And I mean bottomed, okay? So, I mean, higher prices are coming at us, lower yields. That the yield probably topped out yesterday. You can see right here, what you have, we have wide price spread. You have accelerated volume. We have 2.3 million. You broke the downtrend. And the 10-year, that's saying, hey, guess what? We're going higher. If we go to the gold market, if you haven't test-driven the gold report, folks, you want the gold report, go do it right now. Just go do it, man. Because <laughs> the bottom line is that 
you know, the way that this had come down and the way that it was trying, um, you know, this broke the downtrend today. It, what it had done, it had come back into the March level, had dramatically lighter volume, took off like a rocket ship today when the dollar gave it up, has the wide price spread, has the accelerated volume. If you go to the GDX, you're going to look at them. They're all, they're all moving. And when they move, man, they move. You know, the GDX right now, you get the expansion with volume. You know, we made a low in the GDX with 16, 15,000 shares and 18,000. We've done 19 right now. You can see the, you can see the break. The, the break is there, man. You get the wide price spread. You actually jumped the trend line, the whole ball of wax. And then where are we going? We're going right into that dollar. This thing, DXY. So... We take a look at the dollar. What you're going to have with the dollar is that it spiked this morning. See, check, check this out, man. This was the, this was the most, de the, the reason that you're hearing this in my voice, folks, this is the most deviant thing the dollar could have done. Meaning, you know, you heard me out here yesterday. I, I was looking for quite some time that, okay, this, this dollar, man, wants to get up to that next swing point, right? And then, you know, what we did is that we, did a loss engulfing yesterday. Now, when we did the loss engulfing yesterday, the way that it works is that you have to close lower today. And so this morning, I'm looking at this market, I'm saying to myself, oh my God, I don't believe it's gonna spike it. So it spiked it, but when it spiked it, once I saw it starting to come back, I says, oh, that is the most deviant thing it could do. Why? Because it spikes it, number one. That means that if you're any trader, you say, oh, no, going to the next swing point. It spikes it, it gives it up, now it's going to be a confirmed lost engulfing. That's the bottom line. And, you know, the dollar right now runs everything, you know. So if the dollar continues to go lower, you're going to see that the market's going to get breathing room to go higher. The metals are definitely going to go higher. And the bonds, you know, we'll find out if that this is just a bounce on a bottom or, in fact, you have a real bottom going in. When I was looking at the mortgage rates last night, and looking at the inflation numbers, the inflation numbers, inflation's over, man. You know, where, where, that's my, that's also my take. That, yeah, you're going to have some small prices, but the big prices, transportation, food, appliances, it's over. It's, it's, it's over. It's, it is. I, I do enough business that I know when I'm buying stuff right now, I just did a deal this morning, and that's what really made me. It's like, oh, you got to be kidding me, man. Um, the amount that I paid less, I mean, was extraordinary to the point of not 10 or 20 percent. We're talking about way over that number. Way, and so it was like, okay, you don't get those types of numbers unless inflation's boom, it's over. Dow. Dow's up 154. Nasdaq's up 234. S&P's are up 48. Stay right there, folks. we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next because he's going to be doing a webinar for you right after my show. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 158. You get the Nasdaq up 235. S&Ps are up 49. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Basil, this afternoon, folks, right after my show, 4 o'clock, 4 to 5.30, he's going to be doing a subscriber webinar, but it's very easy to be a subscriber of Basil. You're going to be coming over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You hit the Subscribe button. You can subscribe for a month, six months, a year. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. That gets you into the webinar. The webinar is going to be an hour and a half. Basil is going to be talking about the power of the 9, 14, 9 over the 14 moving average, other indicators, as well as the Chapman Wave methodology. And he has a huge amount of other archives that are on there. So go check it out. We're going to talk to Basil right now, and he couldn't have a better market. And then the, the NVIDIA is coming out on top of this after the close. Basil Chapman, you, you just hit it here, man. You seem to always hit it, man, even though we announce these a week to two weeks ahead of time, man. It's pretty you know, cool. There's certain time cycles. We'll see exactly how this one works out. But you know what's fascinating, Tom? You were just talking about gold. You were talking about, let me just show you. I'll just do a quick preamble here. Uh, just to just say where we are for subscribers to my opening call, we went short using a particular um, one of my technical tools right here at the exact top on August the 1st. We went short the Dow. Uh, we have call long still from October of 2020 and the, the, the low of um, uh, sorry, March 2020 and October 2022. So this is a kind of a trading vehicle right now. We went short, the, using the same techniques, we went short the uh, kind of aggressively. Now we've lightened that up a little bit on the semiconductor at 161.17 was the high. We went short just over 159 and we've got the uh, three times short. So we've got our stops in place. We've taken really nice gains off there ready for anything. So I just wanted to give that as a preamble. But within that, for subscribers, I like to have stocks that are priced in the very the single digits and double digits, triple digits. At a certain point, I'm prepared to go for the higher price stocks. And at other times, I'm saying, let's be a little cautious. Let's go for the lower price on this pullback. We've got a couple of lower price ones, which are actually doing very nicely in this environment. So with that said, I'm going to be looking at the different sectors and I'm going to be, let me give you the chart right now. There it is. So um, it's the power of the 914 EMAs. So just to, as I talk about this, I'll show you each one of these techniques. Look, 
the 914, I've been talking about for about a week now, I've been talking about crude oil. Let me just get rid of this right here and I'll go to the chart that I need. I've been talking about, if I can find it, I've got all these different charts getting ready for, there we go. So this is the chart that I wanted to show you. This is the crude oil I've been speaking about. You're talking about deflation. So I'm talking about the crude oil, which is, I talked about this a couple, about a week ago. I said, you know, crude oil is starting to falter and there it is. Today, the nine period closed negative. So that says that there should be some pullback in crude oil. That's one of the indicators I'm using. And I'll go to the chart just so we can talk about, it as, you, as you've been mentioning, about deflation. Look, here it is. So crude oil gave a peak F in the Chapman wave. It's now getting heading for the 200 period moving average of 77.16. Talk about the 200 period moving average. Look at the euro dollar. Right on the 200, it didn't even know the 200 was there since it rallied off it in June of of this year. It rallied all the way to one point, the one almost 1.13, and here it is just kind of bouncing off that level. Look at the power of the nine period moving average for the dollar. It's like a magnet. Every time it goes above it, it can do it for a little while, and then it struggles. Look, it went above it back in May into early June, and then it plummeted. It's above it now, and it's it's struggling a little bit. So you're absolutely right. So I'm using these techniques, and I'm looking at the different sectors, different stocks, going through the stocks in our portfolio to say, where can we add? We just added back to one a couple of days ago. It's starting to act quite nicely, and that's really important. So this is a perfect time in this big pullback uh, we'll be looking at the, the gold sector, absolutely, because this is a really big move up in gold. But gold itself is not quite as good as silver, so I'll be explaining what I'm looking at. Look at that powerful move in silver off the 200-period moving average. So it's really important that I look at all these different stocks uh, and uh, ETFs of different sectors and say, hey, this is what's happening now. And even if there's a really big pullback, because maybe NVIDIA – doesn't give everything that everybody's expecting, and we actually pull back tomorrow. Uh, there are certain stocks and sectors that are starting to try to form a base, and that's really important. So I'll be talking about it's absolutely relevant to this particular market at this particular time using all the different indicators that I have. Some of it's very simple and some of it's a little complex. So I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. I've got it all ready nice. to go at 4 o'clock. No matter what NVIDIA does – we're all ready for whatever and, presents to us. And, folks, it's very easy. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right in the featured program, the opening call subscriber webinar. You just hit subscribe. Bottom line, you can subscribe for one month for $149, six months for $695, a year for $1,195. That's a, you know, the six month and a year are big discounts, folks. The bottom line is a 30 day money back guarantee. You come into the workshop, you're going to get a great newsletter. And if it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, guess what? You can cancel in 29 days. And you've also still got a great webinar, got some great education, understand how the market moves. Basil, you have a, a great one, a safe one. And, of course, we look forward to the webinar in 45 minutes. So do I. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank have you. Have a great day. Okay, have a great one. Have a safe one. And let's go, that, well, let's go right to NVIDIA, man, because this is going to be rocking and rolling, man. Let's, and when you see these numbers, so first, where do you see these numbers, folks? These, these numbers, I was looking at these numbers today revenue-wise. So NVIDIA plans on taking in $11 billion. Well, they took in 11 point, that's in 90 days. They took in $11.7 billion in 2019 the whole year. They plan on bringing $2.07 to the bottom line. Well, they in 2020 they only made a buck 45 so they are talking about some monster numbers okay so now let's take a look at the equity okay now when i look at this equity i know it's high but i'm telling you <laughs> this to me okay so your, your last high here got up to that uh, four what is that four God, I can't believe I can't read that. It's blown. Four, I think it's 480. Is it 480? Yeah, it's 480. So that volume there had 72 million. Yesterday, we did 75. That's right, 72. 77. 77 was the first high. 75 is the next one. You do something like that, that's telling me that, you know what, 
this is going to blow the numbers away again. And that, I know it's a mind blower, man, because particularly if you heard Kevin Hinks today on Tommy's show, at this number, so picture this, at this number here, NVIDIA is trading at 233, it was 227 forward earnings right now, and the average is 73. But guess what? It always depends on how much you are growing because you get to take the growth away from your PE to get what you're actually, you know, paying for. But it looks to me like it's going to do it again, which is a total mind blower. Let's go. Let me just look at this. I'm curious as to, yeah, there's only 1% in the uh, short positions. But I bet when we take a look at the put calls, well, I know when the put call ratios, they were running eight to one today on puts. So that's another situation that you're gonna probably pop. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Attention traders and investors, are you ready to elevate your game in the stock market? On August 23rd, join Basil Chapman, the mastermind behind the renowned Chapman Wave methodology in a subscriber-exclusive 90-minute webinar. From 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern, dive deep into the secrets of the 914 moving average, decode market turns, and get a head start on the stock outlook for September and October. The golden opportunity is free for all opening call subscribers. And if you're not on board yet as a subscriber, here's the deal. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Zero risks, all rewards. So what are you waiting for? Visit the front page of TFNN.com now and secure your spot. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal gold is still king, it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up by 172. You get the NASDAQ up 236. S&Ps are up 50. So we're going to have a, a couple double bangers here, folks. Okay, the first one is going to be after the close tonight. And then... Okay, of course, then we come into Thursday, right? So whatever NVIDIA goes tonight is going to basically bring the chip stocks and the NDX 100 where it wants to go tomorrow. That's the first one. The next one is going to be at 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday because that's when Powell is going to be speaking from Jackson Hole. So 
There's some real action out here, man, the next couple days in, in a monster way. Let's get over and take a look at the silver market because we were talking about silver yesterday and the difference between gold and silver is that silver was stronger because what ended up happening is that silver had rejected its sw first swing point, not the second. Well, sure enough, we got out here today, you get 30,000 contracts, you can see the move in silver, and silver is always more volatile than gold, there's no doubt. You know, this is the first time that I've actually, not the, it might be the first time, let's put it this way. Most of the time, they move together totally, and silver can get destroyed more than gold. This particular time, it didn't. And the volatility in silver is always more volatile than gold. So we've done 30,000 contracts. If we go to the SLV, what you're going to see is that you also have the pickup on volume, the wide price spread, all of the above. You can see a gap tire. And in fact, what you can do here, this is where this gets interesting, right? You can almost say this is uh, island bottom. You can see what happened here. You get a window here, a window here. That's what Steve Nissen used to call them. Gaps, gap down, gap up. There's your island bottom. It's a nice, the bigger the bottom, the higher you can go, go. And you can see the expansion of volume out here today. We made a low out there with, uh, what is that, 20? Jesus. No, it's 10 million. We made a low of 10 million shares. You've done 22 today. This thing, you know, and then if we put this on a weekly, what you're going to see here is that the bottom line is that it came to the bottom of the consolidation. Now we're going to go to the top of the consolidation. And the top of this consolidation on the SLV is running up there at about, uh, what is it? well, you get another couple bucks. And we'll see what that happens there. My take is that we're going to go a lot higher than that, but we'll see what happens up at the top of that consolidation. We go to the GLD and we take a look at the GLD. You're going to see the same type of situation. You gap tire. You have the volume behind the move. I get 6.98 million, which we needed, okay? Now, this one gets really interesting, and this is notes and bonds. If we go to the TLT, what you're going to see is that the TLT also has an island bottom, okay? So this is going to get really intriguing because it's like, okay, you know, my take right now is the TLT, we're trading out at 95. This thing is going to stop making its way back up to the, well, we broke the downtrend with conviction, this is saying it's going to make its way back up to the 102, right now it's at 95. And if that's what we get, we take a look at this, you have the 10-year right now at 4.19. Now, we topped out yesterday, well, we'll find out whether we topped out, but the high was yesterday, and that was 4.338. And then if we go to the 30, and we take a look at the 30, <coughs> excuse me, 30 is up a full two points right now. That also has wide price spread. Nice volume coming off the low. And you can see you, you broke. Breaking with conviction is a whole different animal. You know, so this is saying that this wants to run back up to the 127. Now, let's do this. I want to do this and see. US 1. Okay, generic, generic. That's the one I want. And let's just see what this actually came into. Okay, so we put this on. We're going to put this on a monthly way back. I got a 25 years. Yeah, see, it did, man. This is, this is so cool. Look at this. We did this. So the last low was 117.19. This low was 117.30. And that last low was established almost a year ago. Let's see, four, eight. Yeah, it was a year ago. That's exactly what it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven months ago. So you, you tested that. In fact, if I go like this, let me see. Where can I? I probably can do that in the TLT. And pull this back. So. Because I suspect the test is going to be on lighter volume. Okay, I do three or weekly. Yeah, I know it is because I bought the TLT this month, so I know that. Okay, so, so picture. This is what you're coming into. You're coming into 129 million, right? On a weekly, right? Well, even we've only done 74 million. 
you know, that's going to be a rejection of lower price at light of volume. And, you know, you can't bust them down. You're going to bust them up. And in this particular case, we'll see whether it's just going to be the top of the consolidation because the top of the consolidation inside the TLT is at 109. Uh, you know, it's going to be break out of the consolidation and then make up to the next level. There's, there's so many cool moving parts right now, folks. It's amazing. Now, the wild card is still going to be this good old U.S. dollar. Because what we have with the dollar, you know, you still have highs of the dollar. That being said, we take the dollar and we pull it back a bit. What you have is that what we actually have here, watch this. Now, this is what's really a trip. Now, the dollar's been on a move as gold has gone lower, right? But what we've actually had is three lower highs and two lower lows. That's a downtrend. So what's going to be intriguing here is to see, I mean, look at this. You, you'd never think this is how this is actually shaken out because of the fact that we have been up so, you know, we've been up on the dollar in, a, you know, not... Yeah, well, with that, that's like two months in a row, straight up. But when you take a look at that technically, it's, hey, man, you know, you got a downtrend happening here. So this good. my take is that there's going to, well, here, we do the XAU, the HUI. This is, it's, always, it's always fun when <laughs> gold runs, man. Let's put it that way. So the XAU, HUI did the same thing. You're going you're gonna to take a look at this. Yeah, we'll go through it all. You'll see that the contraction of volume was dramatic, man. The XAU, I'm doing that first, yeah. The XAU, you were going into 45 million and you did 18. Like, really? Yeah. The gold, and, I, and what we are going to have today, we're going to have an expansion of volume, by the way. If we go to the gold bugs index, do the same exercise, you're going to see the same type of setup. We were going into... 36 million, and you did 11. And then today's going to have volume. You can see the decisive move out here. And all you do is you can see the break with volume. And that's saying that uh, we're 224. Gold bugs and ticks on the way to 255. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 179. NASDAQ's up 235. S&P's up 51. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. 
Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 189, Nasdaq's up 239, S&Ps are up 52. Let's go take a look at Foot Locker. This is uh, pretty intense, and we'll go to Dick's after this because you get Foot Locker, the low is it right now 1484, the high is 47. And, you know, evidently we're not wearing sneakers anymore. Yeah. But what you have here, what I really want to show you is you get two gaps, two monster gaps. Last time they came out with numbers, stock had gapped from the 42 level down to the uh, 24. This time we went from the 24 down to the 14. Now let me bring this back a bit. Because these things come in threes, folks. Oh, yeah, see, it's blowing it away. It's blowing the lows away. Let's see. That's 1746. Yeah, it's blowing the lows away. I, mean, I got to bring this back further now. I just brought it back 15 years. Okay. And it has volume. So this sets up a disaster, man. <laughs> this sets up like a 14... If this gets into fourteen dollars and seventy cents, this thing can go to a buck. No, go to three dollars, three fifty. Now let's go to Nike. Well, I, actually, yeah, no, we'll go to Nike and then we're going to Dicks, okay? So if you take a look at Nike, you can see you're down two seventy-two. We put this on a monthly. We have to go way back, but Nike has a high volume load that hasn't been tested yet. So, whoops, to this. Take a look at this. Put this on a monthly for a second. Okay, so what you're going to see is that the last time that we came down, right there, it stopped at the high volume bar, which would be, yeah, it could stop again, though. Because this is what's going on with Nike. So we'll check out what's going on with Nike. So the last time it stopped, it had volume there of, uh, on a monthly of uh, seven, uh, 286 million. And we're at 130, 112 right now. So more than likely, it's not going to go all the way down to the end. It's going to do the same thing. It's, it's into this bar. The bar is a monster. The, bar, the top of the bar is 94. The bottom of the bar is 52. And it rejected it last time, but it got into the bar. It got into the bar by a good, you know, 25%. I suspect this one will probably get into it also. It hasn't into it yet, though. This, this one actually might reject it at the 94 level. That's what, it's, that's, that's what this is looking like, actually. That you get a rejection at the 94 level. If you're into Nike, that's the place to watch next. Now, look at this. Dick's Sporting Goods gave up. I think three years in one day. That, yeah, meaning three years of gains in one day. Look at this. Watch this. This is like amazing, actually. I bring this back. Is that three years? Yeah, well, uh, two years. 
Two years and one day. Now, we have a Dix, and when you look at a Dix, it's, it's, got, it's got to be, this wants to go to the highs of the lows. That's the next stop. We're at 110, 102.95 is the number. You can see that volume. It's a monster, right? So we'll see what happens when it gets down to that level. But that is one. And, that, and if you talk about a lost engulfing man, <laughs> that is like an extraordinary, oh, i got to put it on a, uh, a monthly for that. Let me see. Maybe the candles. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. Oh, that's like insane. That's like total insanity, man. I mean, that is one monster number. There's no doubt about that. Meaning that, you know, it is amazing to me how fast they can actually get destroyed, too. There's no doubt about it. And that's why, you know, this NVIDIA thing is going to be so big after the close today. There's no two ways about that. There's, you know, it's going to be... Let's go to the SMHs for a second because take a look at a few of these. So the SMHs, that had volume yesterday on the way up. You don't have volume at the highs, though. Let's see what the weighting structure is inside this thing. NVIDIA is 20%. It's a big number. There's no doubt that's a big number, so... This is definitely going to be a, a big announcement after the close. If we go into the NASDAQ composite, let me take a look at the composite. What you're going to see is that, yeah, see this composite, that's, that's quite a movement. You know, I can make the case on the composite, too, that this also broke the downtrend. Now, it doesn't have the volume, but you can see the price spread. This is like saying, okay, you know, the high in the composite is uh, 14,496. But this is saying this is saying that we can go to fourteen thousand three seventy. You know, you can see that that's the decisive break, and that that would be the most deviant thing the market could do, by the way, folks. Okay, that you crawl all the way back up there, and if we do, then what you have is this: you have the consolidation, and it's a monster consolidation. You know, and if we take a look at this, what you can also see, it's probably still. You almost did a 0 0.382 retracement, and, you know, that's, that's a pullback in a market that wants higher price. And if that's the case, what that's giving me more confidence in is that the dollar will keep going lower and interest rates have peaked out. Because what will end up happening, if Powell comes out and is dovish at all on Friday, you're going to see this market take off like a rocket ship, like a rocket ship. Because so picture, picture this. The market took off even when interest rates were going up. <laughs> so you can imagine what the heck is going to happen if interest rates, you know, are flat, are they going to stop pulling back? I mean, yeah, I, I know it sounds bizarre, but the bottom line, it is what it is. And that's the way it seems to be, you know, shaken out. That's, that's the way I'm looking at it right now. Um, yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool just watching the whole thing shake out. We go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at oil. So we take a look at the oil market here. So oil did 355,000 contracts. Let's see, we broke, we broke a B point. Let's see if we broke it with volume. Yeah, we did. Except that it's not an ABC down. The reason it wouldn't be an ABC down is this. Is that you came down, but then you popped higher last week with, with high volume. And now you did break the B point, but that's, that's not an ABC down. Because the bottom line is that you have way too much volume on the trend higher. You know? So that, that looks to me that uh, higher prices are still coming at us inside of that market. Dow, Dow Industrial is up 194. You get the NASDAQ up 231. Don't forget about Basil's workshop, folks. It's going to be a great workshop. Just come over and sign up for his newsletter. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, the webinar is going to start at 4 o'clock, go to 5.30. And don't forget that what also happens, folks, if you can't make it live, it is archived. So you can, you know, take a look at it anytime you want. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Investors right now up 173. We'll get the NASDAQ up 210. S&Ps are up 46. Let's go take a look at this indice volume and see where we're going to be at here. So... Yep, you're going to have a contraction again. So we're at 472. Yesterday, you did 794. It'll probably do around 750. Now, let's look at the NASDAQ, though. The NASDAQ is going to be the number because of NVIDIA. You did 4.3 billion yesterday. You're at 3.6 right now. It's going to be a close call on the NASDAQ, man. If we go to the Qs, let's go to the Qs for a second, because no matter, this is where, see, we're, it's always interesting on, on the Qs, particularly, so what's going to happen here with the Qs, whether NVIDIA goes up or down, the volume's going to go up today. So that is also saying that, guess what, we're going higher. You can see, see this, we did 40 million already. Yesterday you did 45. Because of the NVIDIA itself, so picture this, NVIDIA does good, Q's go up. Nvidia does bad. The volume, the, the Q's can go down in ASAP, but the volume's going to go up. And so, either way, this is where the, this is what I love about time in the trade. Because either way, that's also giving another indication that the bounce is still on and we're going higher. And if we do get volume inside the Q's, then what that does, which we're gonna, then what that does is saying, hey man, you know, it's going to be close to the top to be game. That's, 
And that is about the most deviant thing the market could do. And you know the job market's job, folks, is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time. And the market is about the most efficient mechanism that I've seen in life that can actually do that. Don't forget about Basil's workshop. It's going to be a great workshop. And always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show. Going to be a lot of action tomorrow morning. Going to be a lot of action uh, Friday. Friday, Powell comes out at uh, 10.30. Bam! Look at him, folks.